I am setting up a virtual machine and I never thought that this day would actually come because I've always wanted to do this and then at the same time I was incredibly intimidated. Hello everybody, I am super excited because this week I will be diving into the Sands Foundations course in cybersecurity and I will be taking you on this journey with me. So I'm vlogging every day this week. Uh, today's Monday, but you're probably watching this on Tuesday because by the time it takes to edit this and all that stuff. So there'll, there will be a delay, but still I'm vlogging. This is all happening like right now. I'm about to start studying. So I'm very, very excited um, to take you on this journey. And also cybersecurity is such an interesting topic. You may have seen other videos on the topic in, on my channel, but I don't have a foundation in it myself and I'm about to get one with this amazing course. I have looked over the syllabus and it looks awesome. There's so much new stuff that I'm going to learn, but there's also a lot. Um, so this week is going to be pretty intense. Um, I have blocked out my calendar. I have set up um, like an autoresponder on my email so that nobody, so that everybody expects that there was going to be a delay because I'll be just focusing on this. This is my, this is what I'm trying to do. And I'll try to finish it all in one week. And then later down the line, I'll do an exam. I'll take you through that experience as well. But for now, let's get started. So it is 9 a.m. I have had a productive morning. I have already worked out did my morning routine, had breakfast with my husband and, you know, just sent some emails uh, because over the weekend I accumulated a bunch, but it is time to dive in. It is time to start learning this. We'll figure out the structure of how these vlogs are happening, if there will be a structure as we go along. But right now let's look at the syllabus and dive into the course because I am jittery. I want to get started. All right, let's look at the syllabus of this amazing course. Sans Institute is the world's largest provider in cybersecurity training. And I'm super excited for this course because it teaches you the foundations of cybersecurity. So whether you're thinking about going into cybersecurity um, as a career starting out, or maybe you just, you're coming from a non-technical background and you don't want to necessarily go into cybersecurity, but you want to work with cybersecurity and understand the basic principle to have the foundational knowledge, this course is perfect for that. And that's why I'm incredibly excited about it because I want that knowledge from the very beginning of the foundation of how things work. Linux, I'm super excited to learn more about Linux, um, networking fundamentals, all about servers, and you know, you get to work on some Python and C, which I'm super excited about. Um, and then hardware, security concepts, offensive security concepts, woohoo. And yeah, just basically a lot of different stuff, a lot of topics to cover. So let's stop talking and start learning. watched the video, the intro video by the author of this course, um, who seemed very nice and talked about the ethics, uh, because you know, ethics is a big question in the industry. And now that I have confirmed that I will respect the ethical, um, considerations and all those things, I have access to this platform and this is what it looks like. I'm recording my screen as well so you can see, uh, but yeah, I'm 0% in, we're gonna, get started. All right. So these modules actually tell me how long they're going to take, which is great. I was looking at the modules last night before I went to bed, um, at the syllabus and I counted, I think there were 56 different modules and I was like, okay, I have to do 11 on average, um, every single day to make it in five days. But now that I can see that some of them are bigger than the others, I can obviously, uh, plan ahead accordingly. I'm very excited. Okay, let's get, let's get started. Let's, I, my Pomodoro timer is running and no more distractions. Let's start learning the foundations. of this whole thing, uh, which was learning how the platform works. I zoomed through it. That was so good. <laughs> but 
it is such a cool platform. Honestly, I love when content is delivered in different formats and it is delivered in so many different formats so that you can um, learn throughout different ways and it applies to different types of learning. And you know, for me, I do need different formats to actually learn stuff. So I'm excited about that. And also there are quizzes and it's easy to give feedback or ask for support. And there's the, the lab environment where you get to practice and build things. And if, if you want to build something of your own, like a challenge, uh, challenge yourself, you can also do that, which is, which is really, really cool. So I am diving into the intro to computer hardware. Uh, I'm 1% through the course already. <laughs> so let's, let's do this. Let's jump into it. I'm about to learn all about the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM type storage, GPU input devices, a lot of different stuff. I know some of the basics, but I'm very excited to get, you know, like structured information on the topic. And I am going to try to write notes on my iPad. I've been trying to charge my pencil, um, but we'll see how that works. But you might see me writing notes either in my notebook or here. Let's get into it. I'm almost through this module learning all about the different components of a computer. It was super interesting. I was nerding out and writing a lot of notes, uh, but now I have the final final section before the quiz, which is basically a video of this guy building the computer, the author of the course, building a computer in front of my eyes and talking about all the different components. And you know, now it's all coming together. So since this is a 30 minute video, I'm actually going to go and make lunch and watch this video while I'm making lunch and while I'm having lunch, because I normally watch videos while I'm having lunch and make lunch. So it just works out perfectly. Let's do it. before my lunch was made and I did the quiz and I got two questions wrong, uh, two answers wrong. But yeah, I redid the quiz again so that I got all the questions right because, you know, perfectionist in me needed to have validation. And then I started module, the second module in this, um, in this program and I'm already 70% in. I honestly didn't stop learning during lunch because I found it so interesting and I was finally making progress in understanding this concept. Binary and hexadecimal stuff, um, those notations have always been so incredibly foreign to me and I didn't understand how to use them. It, and I've tried multiple times and I think I may have gotten it at some point, but it wasn't... Okay, so this is a little side note. Somewhere I read that when you're learning something, you've got to repeat things in order to break the loop of forgetting, break the process of forgetting. And so when you're learning things and when you're reminding yourself of how things work, that's how you learn. And I would always not break that loop. And finally, I feel like I broke through the loop of forgetting, or at least for now, we will continue um, practicing this but I've understood what it meant. And I was so excited that I was practicing throughout my lunch. Um, I was eating my buckwheat. It's near and dear to my heart. It, like the, the actual, it's not a grain, it's a pseudo grain. And I cook it like rice. Uh, I eat it every single day for lunch on work days. But this is very interesting. I'm learning about encoding and um, automated um, encoding and decoding. And I kind of want to go on one of the websites that he went on and encode something myself. Let's say cybersecurity is fun. Encode. Really cool. Nerding out. All right. Okay. I think I grasped that concept because I was able to do it myself. Honestly, I think that's the best way to learn, uh, when you can practice something yourself on 
it's just like with math, you know, like you, you can practice things. All right, so far so good. I am, let's see, I am 5% through the course. Um, I want to get through another 15% by the end of the day in order to feel good about myself. I think I'm going slower than I would want to just because I'm taking really detailed notes. But yeah, let's continue growing. I mean, it doesn't take into account the, the fact that I am done with this section. Yeah, look at that. Still 5% though, but 80% done with that module. All right, I'll stop blabbing. I'll continue studying. All right, we have moved on to operating systems. Operating systems one, which is which means that we're done with computer components and concepts. Very interesting module, and I have to say, after we uh, after the first module within that module, I really wanted to build a computer myself. I've been curious about this for a very long time and always super intimidated. But now that I know more about the par parts, I feel much more confident, and so. I think that will be a project sometime in the future. But now we're off to uh, operating system and virtualization. I am 10% through the course, which makes me feel a bit better, but I do want to finish another 10% if I can today, which I, I don't know how I'm gonna do because it will require a lot of hours and it's already, well, it's already four. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, I think I, I'll be able to, at least through operating systems, it's gonna be quicker. I'm dyslexic, so for me to learn certain concepts, I do need to be able to visualize those concepts. And that takes either, you know, the different mediums because it's providing the videos, audio and text. And sometimes I just have the audio and I go through the text because I need those different formats of information input in order to actually understand it and taking notes is huge for me in understanding things so yeah it's moving I guess slower than I thought it would be but so far so good and I think I'm gonna be let's try to be halfway done with Linux by the end of today that will be that would make me very happy and feel good about myself <laughs> all right let's continue doing this no more talking more learning. I am currently learning about the kernel and it's making me crave corn on the cob. I just really want corn right now. Just needed to let you know. <laughs> I am setting up a virtual machine and I never thought that this day would actually come because I've always wanted to do this. And then at the same time, I was incredibly intimidated, but I'm doing that right now. I'm still, uh, creating a Linux virtual machine on my laptop. Nuts. I didn't think that I would be doing that in the first day, but here I am. I've learned so much already today, all about the hardware, so many things about operating systems and this, and now I know the next uh, the next module is going to take me through Linux and there's six different modules within that module. Um, I'm sure within that section, there's six modules about Linux and I'm pretty excited because I didn't know enough about it and I'm just learning so much. I'm like a sponge. And now I understand why I was having issues with my hard drives because of the different file systems and all this stuff, just like a lot of puzzles that I kind of have uncovered, they're coming into the same spot. And yes, it's taking me maybe longer than I thought, but oh my God, this is so helpful. And it's helpful not just, you know, in terms of understanding the foundations of cybersecurity, but understanding the foundations of certain devices. And as someone who wants to be an advanced user of technology, like, basic knowledge and it's super important super interesting I'm loving this so far i am tired i had dinner with my husband and then i came back and it's quarter to eight um i this, i started doing linux linux modules but i realized that my brain is still 
like right now, it's not going to be able to process all of that new information and Linux is very new. So I went to the uh, module called the web and I started, I did the first module and then there's a second module where, which is w, like www and serving, all about servers, web servers and the protocols on the internet and all that stuff. And while that is more familiar than Linux, I just reached, I think I'm, I've reached the limit of the knowledge vessel, my knowledge vessel and how much it can take. Honestly, I've learned so much today. Uh, we started with all like hardware and stuff about, um, you know, how to build a computer, what are the different parts Then we went into memory, how things are stored, files, all that stuff. Um, I'm even forgetting things that uh, we've discussed today, but there was just so much and like in so much detail. And then we went into operating system, virtualization. Uh, then I set up the virtual machine and which I haven't finalized because the kernel, the kernel that I talked to you about, the kernel hasn't been properly installed. I need to re um, restart my laptop, but I didn't want to, you know how it's always hard to let go of all of your tabs. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't, I didn't restart my laptop, but I will tonight and, um, I will continue tomorrow. Make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video. But for now, I think I'm just going to go and chill and do something that doesn't require looking at a screen because I am honestly squeezed out like a lemon. That's a Russian, that's a Russian thing to say. I'm 15% um, through this course. So it's not quite 20 yet, but you know what? I'm pretty happy with where I am. I started a bit later than I thought I would because I had to get some stuff out of the way, but okay, this is it. We're going to bed soon. Honestly, bedtime isn't like an hour. <laughs> um, and then I'll start bread and early tomorrow, um, because I'll work out in the evening. So See you tomorrow with a fresh head.